If you're wanting the highest level of security for your forms and your account, we're proud to announce the next evolution of form security with Encrypted Forms 2.0. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I am currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And you probably know there are unlimited amounts of forms and the types of data that we can collect, but we all know every piece of data that you collect is sensitive and worth protecting. And that is where Encrypted Forms 2.0 comes in with its end-to-end -end encryption. Now, if you are new to end-to-end -end encryption, that means that your users' responses are transferred and stored completely encrypted. So let me show you how to access and turn on this new Encrypted Forms 2.0. Now, first, before Encrypted Forms 1.0 allowed you to encrypt the entire account. So it was all under one password. Encrypted Forms 2.0 allows you to encrypt individual forms. So just for example, as you're looking at my desktop, you can see this one right here, my small group session form it is encrypted. So let's go ahead and encrypt my picture attachments form. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to edit form. We're going to be in the builder to access the encryption. Up in the top, we're going to choose the middle settings button. We have right here, encrypt form data. And so right here, it says encrypt your form responses to store sensitive data securely. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Now, of course, in order to encrypt this form, a job form needs to verify that it is us who is doing this encrypting. So we can do this one of two ways. We can either verify with our G Suite or we can enter in our JotForm account password. I'm going to go ahead and verify with my G Suite. And then the second step is to set our access code. Now, my suggestion here is to click right here on this little eye so that way you can see your password because it is very important that you know what that password is and it is entered incorrectly because right down here this box I understand that if I forget I'm not going to be able to access my form submissions and because it's encrypted JotForm is not going to be able to access for you either so again go ahead and click on that so that way you know that your password is entered correctly so I'm going to go ahead and choose JotForm one, two, three, exclamation point for this example. And yes, I understand. So let's go ahead and enable encryption. Perfect. Now, keep in mind, whenever you have encryption turned on on a specific form, there are going to be some attributes that you are not going to be able to use. So for example, if we head over to the left-hand side, we see our integrations. We have that pop-up at the top. Encrypted forms cannot be integrated with other apps because the data is encrypted. It's not gonna be able to be transferred. Next, we have approval flows. Same thing, again, it is encrypted, so we're not gonna be able to utilize that approval flow process. And then of course, jot form sign as well. So as long as your form does not have those things, the integrations, the approval flows, or jot form sign, you can definitely encrypt your forms. Now, another piece with this is your users can see that this form is encrypted. So if we head up to the top, let's go to preview form. And if we scroll down, we see right down here, encrypted form. But let's go ahead and fill this out so we can see what this looks like over in our tables. All right, let's do submit. Perfect, let's jump out of the preview mode. I'm gonna come up to the top left-hand corner where it says form builder. Let's go ahead and jump over to tables. And we can see here, we need to enter in that access code in order to view this data. And we can see in the background that everything is just completely blurred out. So let's go ahead and enter in our access code and access. And here is our data. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about the new Encrypted Forms 2.0, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.